Hi, and welcome to another episode of the How to Do Stuff with Experito video series. My name is Erwin, and in this episode I will explain how you can automatically create documents without user interaction using the Experito workflow assembly for Microsoft Dynamics Sierra. To create a workflow, I will navigate to the settings in CRM and then to the processes, here they are already, um, and add a new one. And give this process a name, like uh, gen doc process or something like that. Gen doc process. Okay. Uh, a category, let's indicate that this is a workflow, and then an entity to start from, and quote could be an interesting one here. Say okay to generate the workflow and as the workflow is generated I can now add steps, workflow steps. Now Experito adds a number of custom steps to the standard steps that are available in CRM. Uh, and in the assembly you find different steps here and the most interesting to start from or the most common to start with is uh, the generate document step. So let, let's use that one, we can give that step a name, give it a description, uh, for instance create quote Okay, and then set the properties for that step. Simply select the template first, like for instance this follow-up quote template is an interesting one. Give that document a name, your quote. You can define what output type uh, this should be, PDF for instance, um, and there are a couple of op other options here you can set. Save and close. Okay, what we can do as a next step is for instance create a letter activity create an activity, create a letter activity that adds the quote that we created in the first step um, as a note attachment to that letter activity. So let's do that. Give a description. Letter activity with quote attached. Attached like that. Okay. Set the properties. And then first thing we is is that transaction ID in. That's the first step where we can uh, refer to the document that we generated in the first step. So to do that, we are going to look for local values, the create quote. Okay, that's the first step. And we go for the transaction ID and add it like this. Okay, and then it's added over here. And in that way, um, the the workflow when it's operated when it's uh, run. Um, we'll be able to find the document and add it as an attachment to the activity that we're going to create. Okay, It's a letter activity, you can also create a task activity or just a note, but let's uh, create a letter activity and give that letter activity a subject. Quote created. Okay. Please find the quote the notes section. Okay, section with a T. Okay, and then include a generated file, obviously, and that will be included as a note attachment then to the letter activity. So you can give that note attachment also a subject. Quote file, for instance, and a message, please find the file attached. Okay, save and close, and you're good to go. Save and activate. So in CRM, I can now go to my quotes, select a quote, and run the workflow. Obviously, I'm doing this in a manual way, but uh, right now, but uh, you can create any kind of step that triggers this workflow. That's uh, evident. So just run this gendoc process workflow, okay, and confirm application of the workflow, and then it will be executed and create that letter activity with the document attached. So let's have a look at that. It isn't there yet. This is an asynchronous process, so I'm going to, going to refresh the record by hitting F5. And there it is, quote created. I can open that up. And here's my quote activity with the quote file as a note attachment to that activity. I can open it up from here. And here's my quote that I downloaded. 
here is the document. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.